Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to set up an art line. So first thing I'm going to do is go through all of the supplies needed for this procedure and then we'll walk through um, all of the steps of the procedure. So first thing you're going to need is a pressure bag. I'm going to have that hanging on my pole. You also need an IV pole. So you can use a portable IV pole or you can use the pole located on your patient's bed. Um, you're also going to need the art line kit. So this includes the tubing that you're going to need. Um, so you'll need that. You'll need your connection cable. This is going to connect the art line to your bedside monitor. Um, if you need to transport your patient while they're on the art line, our red portable monitors also have a connection port that this will fit into. So you can monitor your patient's art line during transport as well. You're going to need your transducer holder. This is going to go on your IV pole. This needs to be at the patient's level of the heart. So when you measure it out, it's the patient's um, fourth intercostal space mid axillary line. So I'm going to just set this on here for now and then we'll move it to align with the patient's um, heart level. You're also going to need a 500 cc bag of normal saline. So I wanna show you the tubing itself. So I'm gonna walk from the top of the tubing all the way down to the bottom. So the top has a spike, just like with your primary and secondary IV tubing. Um, when you take this out of the package, be careful not to drop it on the floor and check all of your connections because sometimes they tend to be loose and you can end up losing your connections um, by falling on the floor. So this is going to, so you've got your spike here, you've got a roller clamp, and then that's gonna travel down here to your transducer itself. And then that's gonna go um, down to your syringe. And then it's gonna travel further down to the connection end that goes to your patient's um, art, the art line itself. Um, so you have a couple of different um, ports on the tubing as well. We'll talk about those later. And then you also have some um, valves. So the first thing I'm going to do to get my art line set up is I need to spike my 500 cc bag of saline and I'm going to get all of the air out of this bag by burping it. So I'm going to spike it and then I'm going to get all my air out and then re-spike it. and then I'm gonna hang it on my IV pole. So I'm gonna get all of this untangled here. And then what I need to do now is I need to get the transducer itself um, connected to my transducer holder. So on the transducer, you're gonna have a port. This is your zero port. And then you're gonna have a valve and you're gonna have the pigtail, okay? So this is gonna go, it's gonna slide right in here onto my transducer folder. And then I'm gonna have my clamp open. And what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm gonna flush this entire line. So this is not gonna work like your IV tubing does when you prime your tubing. Um, we're going to flush the line by pulling this pigtail here. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze my chamber and then make sure that my clamp is open. And then to prime this whole line, get all the air out, I'm going to pull the pigtail here until I get all my air out. Okay, so I've done that. I've gotten it all ready to go. The next thing I need to do is I need to put this system under pressure. So I'm gonna take my 500 cc bag of saline. I'm gonna put it inside my pressure bag here. And all of this setup and prep that I'm doing here can be done before you even move into the procedure for the um, art line, this can be something that can be done ahead of time and hung and set up off to the side. All right, so I'm going to 
to put this under pressure. It needs to be pumped up to 300 millimeters of mercury. And so what I'm going to do is I can follow my um, instructions here. There's a nice visual on the outside of the bag that tells you which way to turn the valve. So I need to keep it flush with the zero port to inflate my bag. And I'll know I have it up to that 300 um, when this little popper pops up and it's in, it, you'll see a green um, section of this to designate we've got it up to the right pressure. Okay, so there we are. I'm going to maintain pressure now by turning my valve up. Okay, so I am basically done with the setup piece and getting everything under pressure. My tubing is primed. Um, the other piece of this is I need to connect my connecting connection cable to my monitor. So it's like a phone jack and I'm gonna plug it in down here and then my cable is going to get plugged in to the bedside monitor or portable monitor whichever one you're using so I'm gonna come over here turn on my monitor and once I plug this in the monitor is going to recognize the cable and so you'll see a red line start to form or appear on your monitor. So right here, ABP, so your arterial blood pressure. All right, so we're going to say now that the provider has um, inserted the arterial catheter and they're ready for you to hand them the tubing. So you're going to hand that off to them. They're going to connect it, secure it. Um, if we're going into um, the radial artery, then we'll need to have one of these rolled um, washcloths to go underneath to support the wrist and then tape to um, be able to secure the line to the arm and have that all taped down. Once we've gotten this connected to the patient, I need to then zero my system, okay? So here's how we do that. If you look here, you're going to see that you have your valve and then you have your zero port and you have your pigtail. When I take this out of the package, I have a white valve on my zero port. This is a vented valve. I need to remove this in order to use the system and replace it with a non-vented um, cap. rather. Sorry. So in your package, you're going to have the blue non-vented cap. And so while I'm zeroing my system, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the cap during this time. So to zero my system, I need to open the system up to the atmosphere. So I'm turning my valve up to the atmosphere. I'm gonna take my white vented cap off that can be thrown away. And then I'm going to purge the air out of this zero port by pulling on my pigtail so I've gotten all the air out of that. And now my system is open and I'm ready to zero it. So I'm gonna to need to go to my back to my monitor. And I'm ready to zero. So I'm gonna hit my monitor and it says zero ABP. I'm gonna hit that. It's gonna zero my system and I'll get an alert once it's done. All right, so it has now zeroed. And I'm going to come back here, replace the cap with my non-vented cap, and close my system back up. When I'm looking at my waveform on my monitor, I want to have a waveform that looks like this. So I'm gonna have a sharp upstroke, a shorter downstroke, and then with a little dichrotic notch right here, and then another short downstroke. That's what you want your 
um, waveform to look like so you know that you're receiving an accurate reading. I'm gonna turn off my alarm here. So a couple things to review. Um, again, when you are setting up the art line, the, the transducer does need to be at the patient's heart level. Um, and any time you move the patient, whether you're doing something in the bed or you're moving them up from one surface to another, you need to make sure you're re-zeroing your art line. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm always available to help.